After a long break due to lockdown 2.0, football is back. Well, kind of. Cushels and Athletic take on Barking in the first round of the FA Trophy. Tonight, on this bitterly cold December Tuesday, with the added pressure that both teams know a loss could mean this would be their only game of football for the rest of 2020. A place in the second round next Tuesday is up for grabs for the victor. And should the game be evens after 90 minutes, 30 more will follow and then penalties. But we will have a winner by the end of the evening. Team news now and Eddie Allen starts in goal for the Robins for only the fourth time this season after Patrick Oman has left the club. He is joined by a very well established and reliable back four in Cheadle, Reed, Proctor and Price. David Fisher is another who has made way recently joining Hampton and Richmond Borough. In his place comes Dan Hector who makes his official debut for the Robins. Up top is Harry Ottaway who will be hoping to build on the two goals he scored in the last round when Carshalton overcame Merston last month. One name on the bench which the home supporters might recognise is that of a certain Lewis White. White made 14 appearances scoring four goals for the Robins last season and is a name that is sure to excite the home fans. Ola Sogbamu is also on the bench following his return to fitness. Barking have made two changes from the team that beat Ashford Town 1-0 back in November with Christian and better Katima starting in goal and Jacob Adeyemi replacing Daniel Fleming. Top scorer Junior Dadson is on the bench but Isaac Westendorf who scored in the 1-1 draw against Sittingbourne in the last round does start. He'll be looking for his fourth goal of the season. Both teams will be looking to give their fans an early Christmas present and reward those that have been able to come out and support them tonight and for those that aren't as always we'll have all the action here on Robins TV Dylan's cross bounces up and Ellie Allen out quickly to scoop up the ball Ellie Allen brings it down and looks out wide to Hector what can he do gets the cross in edge of the area Hamilton downs the ball bounced just in front of him not able to get his body over it. But a good indication of what Hector's able to do down that left-hand side. Cheadle pumps the ball long over the top and it nearly falls for Ottaway, but it might fall for Hector. Oh, sorry, Hector now on the right-hand side this time. Can he cut inside? He gets a shot away and it's a whisker away from the top left corner. Fantastic work from the front three that time. Benoit hits it, it's not far over, straight down the middle of the goal. Eddie Allen didn't seem too worried over the crossbar. Bradford, much better from the Robins. Price's cross, goes to Clunas on the edge. He was unable to put the ball in the back of the net. Hamilton Downs looking for a handball, I think. Referee disagreeing. Aldo. There is still a love for local football. Cheadle lines one up. Just wide of the right hand post. Ball over the top. Found Clunis. And he's not able to put it in the back of the net either. Fires wide. Great play by Carl Shulton. Biding their time. Passing the ball, moving it around, and then finding the opportunity to pick that final pass. I say, despite Carl Shorten having the majority of the ball, Barking have been pretty good at limiting the opportunities that the Reds have had. Samuels towards the back post, falls to Clunis, hits the first man. So now Barking up to come on the break. Of Westendorf gets the shot away straight at Eddie Allen. Clunis looks to get the shot away, blocked again. Falls to Ottawa on the edge of the area. And this time, Harry Ottawa makes sure there's no one better you'd want the ball to fall to than the number nine, who scored twice in the previous round against Merston. And is now open the scoring this evening, 27 minutes in. All the time in the world to pick his spot just underneath Christian and better Katima. And that'll put the nerves at bay. With 28 minutes, Carshalton one, barking nil.
And that might change the game plan. Sorry for barking. Eddie Allen comes out. It's goal. But he's beaten to the ball by Sam Awusu. And now the ref wants to have a word with the car short. And number one, edge of the area, last man. And this will be interesting as Carl do not have a goalkeeper on the bench. What will the result be? And it's a red card. A referee has sent off Carl Shorten goalkeeper Eddie Allen. Oh, and it looks like Ola Sogbamu is the man getting kitted up. And it looks like Tommy Bradford's going to be the one that makes way. And on comes Ola Sogbamu, the big man between the sticks. Sure not how he was playing to return from injury. Knocked on, Clunis inside the area. <laughs> Referee says no penalty. Clunis did well to stay on his feet. And it's that age old question. If he had just gone down with the referee's decision being made for him but by trying to stay on his feet, he gave the referee a decision to make. Fantastic cross. Well cleared by Reed. And Clunis looks to bring it away. Space to run into. Yellow shirts ahead and behind. And a big tackle from Junior Luke. In from behind. The fans want one decision. They want retribution for Eddie Allen. As expected, a yellow card. An outfield player in goal. Carl Schultz instead of the majority of the game in the first half. You've got to feel the longer this game goes on, the more barking before they have the opportunity. And there's an early shot. And an early save for Olosok Bamu. He gets a roaring round of applause from the fans in the first qualifying round a few months back. Good knock on there from Ottaway. And uh, confusion between the goalkeeper and the centre back. But the referee, has he given the goal or has he not given the goal? I believe he's given a free kick. And while half the team is celebrating, Bar can get the game back underway. And so far, the referee has sent off the Carshorton goalkeeper, denied Carshorton what looked like a pretty decent shout at a penalty. And then denied a goal. And now Isaac Westendorf looked like he jumped in double two footed there and then refused to let go of the ball. And it looks like himself will be entering the referee's book. Hector, great ball out wide to Clunis. Ottaway inside the box, trying to skip away from the two defenders. Clunis cleared only as far as Clunis back to Price. Yes! Who hits it in off the crossbar and down into the goal. The red shirts around the right back, Bobby Price, his first goal of the season. And what a time to get it. Seven minutes into the second half to give Carl Schulten a two-goal lead. Great work by all the red shirts attacking that time. Ball switched from left to right and right to left. Again, trying a nonsensical long ball forward. And you've got nine red shirts. And Ola Sogbamu maybe misunderstanding the rules, picking the ball up putting it down and then picking it back up, which you're obviously not allowed to do, which will result in a, I believe, in an indirect free kick. Plenty of yellow shirts to choose from. And it reaches Albi Sheen Cousins, who hits it low, but hits it wide of the post. Junior Luke. Straight hat sock, Bamu. Another save from the new car short to number one. Coming off is Albi 
Shaheen Cousins. He's being replaced by number 12, Max Bradford. Reed's ball, knocked on by Hamilton Downs. Between him and Kashani Samuels, who wins it again. And Hamilton Downs hits it. Straight at Mbeta Kutima. Opportunities for Kashani to hit on the break and some gaps appearing. Harry Ottaway's onside this time. Plenty of space ahead of him. Puts the ball across the front. Looking for Luke Reed. Hector, lovely bit of skill. Pe space to drive if he's got the pace. Skips away from all the yellow shirts. Only the keeper ahead of him. But a great save from Mbeta Kutima. The return of Lewis White. Man who made 14 appearances for the club last year. Scorer of four goals, replaces Nyron Clunis. And White does get his first touch as he brings it into the barking half. Yellow shirts ahead of him. And a great ball out wide towards Price. Price cuts in, looking for a second. His shot straight at the goalkeeper. But Lewis White with a no-look pass just to have the knowledge and whereabouts of where Price would be. Looks like it's going to be Arnold Haxiao. Coming on for Dan Hector. And the fans sound their approval. For the winger. Hamilton Downs does well. Finds Kashani Samuels. He finds Lewis White with a fantastic through pass. One defender ahead of him. Step over. Cuts back inside. Challenge from Jacob Adeyemi. Referee says no penalty. Another opportunity for Isaac Wen Isaac Westendorf. Cross goes wide again. And this time Bobby Price is booked for kicking the ball away. Otto have a fantastic knock on. Samuels. 3v2. Looking for Otto. Sends him a bit too wide. Of course, it's a good save. From Mbeta Katima. If you think about it, Kyle Shorten could have made this far more comfortable. Plenty of opportunities to hit Barking on the break. Another good save from Mbeta Katima. It's probably entered its last few seconds all over the top. Lewis White. Can he cap off a fantastic car Shorten performance? Yes, he can! Take a bow, Lewis White. What a ball from Harry Ottaway. Out to White on the left. He's been threatening since the moment he stepped on the field. One touch to cut inside onto his right foot and a curling effort into the side netting. And better Katima stood absolutely no chance. A fantastic finish from the returning Lewis White. Capitalising their opportunities. And that's the final whistle. The cheers ring round Coulston Avenue. A very tired Kashani Samuels collapses to the floor. The Reds have run themselves ragged tonight. Ten men for 60 minutes. But three goals. Harry Ottaway, Bobby Price. And then a peach from Lewis White to cap it all off means that the Robins can look ahead to next Tuesday and the second round.